Um, Twitter is pushing celebrities, according to TechCrunch.com, uh, to use to stop using Meerkat. I know I was watching Snoop Dogg in the in the in the studio with One Direction the other night on Meerkat. He loves it. He's always popping up. Um, I also noticed that a friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show, currently with the WWE, Corey Graves, has been using Periscope as he's been traveling around for WWE doing all these pre-shows and talks and everything like that. Um, the war rages on. I understand why. <laughs> they Wait, want no, to... first of all, have you played with these? Uh, I have not. On I either have not, end of it. I've, I've seen a lot. I think you posted like some link and it was an aggregator that calculated like oh, the most popular meerkat roulette or was it the best no, of? it was the best of. okay okay there's uh, a bunch of those now so and i was i was watching on there like i don't need to necessarily broadcast myself no but i do find enjoyment in watching others you could do an unboxing with it you can do that. you can do you can do some fun stuff you hey do my, a lot of stuff. Hey, my stuff eyewash came in check it out that would be that's a good idea we should we should get on that but that but then i will say periscope that because then it'll be there for 24 hours. Okay. So. And Periscope, I know Meerkat lets you save off to your Both roll. of them let you both save lets to your save. camera roll. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, both of them. And uh, so I think I, I, I've i been talking about, I've been in the Meerkat camp for the last week, you know. I have a fan on there that pops up, and he's great because I'm like, check out Meerkat. And this dude pops up, and he's going to ask me a question. Um uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Beaver, Beaver Daniels in uh, in Florida that keeps popping up on my on my Meerkats, and I've been playing with them. I'm actually using Periscope tonight. I don't know. You guys, here, I want to screw up the camera. Actually, no, we'll do this. We'll do this. I want to show you guys on the video my rig. This So I got this Periscope rig going on. Uh, I, I gorilla potted it to my mic stand. <laughs> so I just have a shot here. Matt Carlin, Carlin's has apparently been joining us all night long. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, it, you know, I'm having fun with that. And to your question a few weeks ago, there's one in there. There was a top five things that you can get. So your your mirror your your mirror scopes. There you go. Your mirror cats and your periscopes are, don't suck, and they're like rigs, and there's things to attach it to, and everything like that. Microphones, stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just generally excited That's for this okay. topic. <laughs> what were we getting at? You, but but well, the, you so you, you so you've been consuming it. So I've been consuming it, and you're saying that they're they're trying to push celebrities mm -hmm. and publishers to stop using it. To stop if, using if, Meerkat. They're trying to get them on, on Periscope. Periscope. Twitter is apparently to the point, according to this article, they're saying that if a celebrity is using Meerkat, they're almost harassed to come onto Periscope. So if and and here's just a random, random question, and maybe I don't understand enough about the back end or, or the the vision for what they want Periscope to be. Mm -hmm. But where are both of these driving traffic? They're driving traffic to Twitter. So Yes I understand. And no, yes and like Periscope kind of. Well, I think Meerkat really helps Twitter in general. It's built on Twitter, and they shut it off. But but you can still like your at replies can still go through. Mm -hmm. I mean, still using it, right? But but it shows how important Twitter thinks this is. That the well, we want to be the game in town, and there's interactions and probably more you know better you know integrations coming up for Twitter. But you know, I think it's going to end up this issue. The reason why I'm always hesitant to use Instagram is it doesn't look pretty in Twitter. Because you don't get previews. You don't get previews. Now, I think that's where Periscope's going to beat Meerkat. I'm at the point where I'm just kind of using both concurrently. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, I use them for, you know, the podcast morning recordings. And, like, this morning, I just grabbed the, the, the iPad and I use both. And one person popped up on the one, and I got different audiences too. I had a bunch of, I, what is this? Was 60 some, 60 some people jumped in there, like maybe two or three of them stayed or stuck around at any concurrent level, but you still, like, you have an audience. And I, I don't want to miss either audience. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of playing both sides. I'll have to make a there's decision. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I know there's a, I'll have to make a decision. I'll have to choose wisely eventually. Well, and but, sooner or later, I mean, Twitter could pull the plug if. Ben. Yeah, and in the end, in the end, it, whatever I'm using gets tweeted out and fa thereby Facebooked, and and my audience will find me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so worried about that, but I am worried about what am I exposing myself to, you know? Because I th this, these are great, I think, audience generators. 
I mean, like, you know, the reason we, yeah, I've been talking about Clamor like nonstop the last month. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I'm seeing all these people jump on there and know what we're doing here now. And not much interaction, but likes and fit, follows and whatever. But I'm I'm trying to build an audience. And, and if I look at a Meerkat or a Periscope and I'm seeing a bunch of random people popping in and are finding me on those services in a new way, I'm going with whoever gets me the most people. Right, because I'm in the building off. I mean, I'm I'm into building this community, this community, and the wrestling community, and, and you know everything we're doing podcasting around. You know, um, I mean that's what I think is important. Periscope's nicer looking, has more features. I like Meerkat because they're the the upstart company. I'm kind of <laughs> cheering for them a little bit. So uh, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of playing both sides. But it looked like the last time we were using that you were using it here and you were really showing it off. Mm -hmm. To me, it looked like Meerkat had some nicer function and some nicer capability, whereas Periscope and I can't remember what it you looked thought like. Periscope looked rough to start off. With. I thought Periscope looked rough. I think it looked smoother. It was just stats at the end of it. You pop it up and it shows you where you're at. Like it shows a map of, oh, this person's in New York City. You know, I was pulling up uh, Crystal with Lipson uh, that, that uh, you know met over at uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh. Uh, she's in uh, NMX, NMX New Media Expo uh, down in Las Vegas. It pulls up, oh, she's in Las Vegas and da da da. You know, um, I, uh, Periscope wins a little bit because you do have that replay. And where I didn't think I wanted that initially, and that's part of my choice is, is this something I might want to grab later? You know, is this the Snapchat or is this the, I don't know, is this the Twitter, mm -hmm. basically? Is this something that I'm like, if this goes away, I don't care where you're screwing around? Or is this the, Oh, I kind of want people to check this out if they tune in a couple minutes too late, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's the juggle. You know, you got to kind of think about what that content is you're making and what window do you want to provide to them? Do you want to create scarcity that, oh, you aren't tuning in, you missed something good? Or do you want to create the, I want to give you an extra chance to watch this thing because it's a little more important, that I think you should see this and find this. So, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with those. And it's it's, it's an interesting thing that as a content provider haven't had to think like that you know and these snapchats and stuff like this make you start thinking about that and 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 why do we do this and that's a big question well why would i want to do that why why am i going to make this content that just goes away on snapchat it's like well because the people that catch it are going to be your best fans mm -hmm. they're going to be the people that are really dedicated to it and feel a part of it and they're not going away if they're going that far into it and the more you introduce those people to that, that's how you build an audience.